Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to BJ and Co. I'm Savvy and this is Firewatch. We're gonna go investigate these darn tootin' terrible mean girls who are just lighting everything on fire. And I don't like it. Which is, you know, that's fair. I'm allowed to not like stuff. Okay, am I? Oh. I don't want to go crazy far away. I want to see this medicine wheel, though. Because I'm curious. 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 Oh, and there's a thing here. Sweet. I take it you fell prey to the Forest Service's big recruiting effort? When it comes to, you know, how the hell you ended up out here? Uh-oh. I'm, like, way out of... I saw the job in the paper and figured, you know, what the heck? What the heck? I've got no ties and no life. Better go spend what's left of it in utter loneliness. <laughs> Something like that? Yeah, thanks to last summer, the bump in Forest Service budget actually allowed for us to advertise for the job. Glad it worked. What happened last summer that accounted for this, uh, windfall? Jeez. I mean, the federal government almost let Yellowstone National Park burn to the ground? Ring a bell? Nah, wasn't me. Yellowstone is like, what, 15 miles away? Why would they do that? Well, the short story is that for 60 years, we got very good at not letting forest fires happen. And then about 15 years ago, they decided that forest fires in wilderness areas like Yellowstone should be left to burn. So that's what they did. Nice. I can't believe you didn't hear about this. There were reports that the entire park was gone. Dan Rather telling the country that President Reagan didn't care on the nightly news. And what the hell's he gonna do? Smoke jump in and snuff one out for the giver? So what should they have done? I don't even know. By the time the Yellowstone folks realized the little fires weren't gonna burn themselves out, a hundred thousand acres were gone. It's Yellowstone, you know? People don't want to touch it. But we touch it every single day. But hey, I got a 30 cents an hour raise because we can't have another fiasco. If the goddamn park can burn down again. Nice. Alright, what's this? Ron. I uh, really wish the power that could be issue us radios didn't suck ass. Most of the time, I'd prefer to keep things pen to paper. But every once in a while, I'd like to, it'd be nice to get a hold of you right away. My sister keeps leaving a message at the main office, but I don't think she gets that I took a job so I wouldn't have to deal with her mom. I've been sitting at the spot for a while now, thinking what to say to her. But I'm a quarter way through a bottle of fives instead. Miss you. Dave. That's cute. Alright, um, so I went down there, which was nice. I got that cash. Okay, so I'm on the right trail to see the magic circle spot, which is good, because that's what I want to see. Magic circle spot. Just so you know, I didn't mean to overstep my bounds earlier when you brought up your wife. I know you didn't. You were just making conversation. I appreciate it. So, tell me about her, if you want. Hmm. She's actually very sick. I shouldn't be here. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here, and it's beautiful, and escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Wow, there's an old, um, I think it's called a medicine wheel out here? Yeah, it was made by Crow American Indians hundreds of years ago. There are lots of small ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? Well, I sure haven't. Well, it's worth a three-hour detour on the way home in August. Uh, neat. I'll keep it in mind. Okay, so... Hey, I'm at the Medicine Wheel, and I can't see the smoke anymore. Where am I headed again? Towards Five Mile Creek. It's in the southwest quadrant of your map. Okay, I have eyes on that smoke plume. <laughs> Great. Find your way over there and give him hell. She's probably like, you're a dummy. You just told me you couldn't see it. But now you can. Well, you know what, lady? I've had a rough day, okay? Wow, that's quite the smoke plume. I'm watching fires burn. Rope hook. We're going to try this again, eh? 
We'll meet again, Widowmaker. You haven't beat me yet. You ready to give it another shot? Do I seriously have to? To get down to Five Mile Creek? Yeah, afraid so. It's quite a ways downhill from here. Great. Uh. I'm just waiting for something to peek over the top and, like, scare me. Please don't. Hey, I didn't fall or die. That's a good sign. Alright, so now there was that... Yeah, there was this thing over here. It's just, man, I got a lot of freaking rope. I like this. Anything scary down there I should be paying attention to? Doesn't look scary. But, uh, something's, gonna, something's gonna happen besides falling. Most definitely. Like, super scary. Alright. <coughs> Blah. Here we go. Run into the smoke. I don't see it anymore. Is there any... Oh, there's a cache, which is good. So I'll grab that as well. I mean, I should literally run right past it. I believe. Believe. Where am I going? There we go. Please don't let me die. Ah, it's getting dark already. I'm not on my way back. That makes me scared. One. So when does this like turn into like a secret scary game? Oh, great. Great. Are you freaking kidding me? Missing person. How many hikers go missing in the Shoshone? Unfortunately. Mitch Michaels, uh, distinctive facial hair, seen around Zonesy Lake, 81. Okay, so it's it's in the 80s, at least. Wow. Vehicle info. Oh, it's most definitely. in this area. The thoroughfare because it's so remote. Why? I found an old flyer for a missing hiker. It just got me thinking, that's all. Like how you said one day you were talking to the Goodwins and then the next you weren't. Ned Goodwin didn't get mauled by a bear or stuck in a ravine. He was just a PTSD a hole who dragged his son out to do a job and realized it was a bad idea. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's that uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. PTSD? That doesn't sound good. Yeah, I don't know. He was in the army. She was off. It's actually the saddest story. He was only discharged because his mother, Brian's grandmother, died. She'd been taking care of him, and Ned was the only next to kin. Damn. And you got to know Brian a little bit? Yeah. I talked to him way more than I'd talked to Ned, that's for sure. How was he at, uh, you know, spotting fires? <laughs> Better than you. He actually liked to stay in the tower. Found one of their empties. Guess we're on the right track. Roger that. Dun dun. Dun 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 dun. So we're on our on the right way, which is good. Which is nice. Another empty. Found another. Roger that. I think Whereabouts are we? No, let's get the old map out. I'm pretty much there. So, on that note we're going to call her an episode here because there's something hanging there which means they're probably naked again so thanks for watching don't forget to comment like subscribe share if you like this series and uh we'll continue on next time thanks for watching Bye bye